right, boys, Dangerous, Mr. Unlimited, whatever you want to call him, he got himself an LTD. LTDs are back for Team of the Week. They returned with packs. Team of the Week is, I guess if you like more cards, I know they're a little bit expensive, but if you like more cards, Team of the Week is definitely looking very, very good. Finally, it took all the way to Week 7, man. But Russell Wilson looks elite, man. I have not used this release yet in the game, at least I don't think. He has his own signature one, I believe. He has Gunslinger, a pretty solid 0 APX factor. Let's take a look at him and get some gameplay. If you're looking for cheap, fast coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, check out my sponsor, U4GM, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. There he is, man. 85 speed, which is a little bit on the mid end, but you gotta remember, Team of the Week theme team is elite. It's very good right now, especially right now, because you can get guys like Brian Thomas, plus two speed. There's guys like Cody Barton on defense. You can get Dante Fowler. A lot of great Team of the Week theme team cards, and then Russell Wilson would be 87 speed with plus twos across the board on every stat. Remember that. That is elite, man. But he already does have 92 short, 91 throw power, really good medium accuracy, really good deep. Obviously, the throwing to pressure is really good, too. But ability-wise, the exact same as the best quarterback in the game when it comes to Andrew Luck. He does have Gunslinger and the zero AP identifier. It's kind of a mid-ability, but I guess it will help if you're playing like people that like to fake you out or switch it up a little bit. But I think the big deal is people are going to be comparing this card is to Russell Wilson, or not to... They're going to be comparing Russell Wilson to Andrew Luck, which I currently still do have on the te theme team. I have the LTD. You can see right there, not the best statistic. Russ is also double his price right now, sitting around 2 mil on Xbox. Let's go see if he's worth it, man. This is a very, very expensive card. All right, it looks like we're taking on uh, like basically the best team in the game. He has the new Fred Warner, a.k.a. Uh, the captain in there. But we got Russ. We got new Cody Barney here. We got the new Brian Thomas as well. This is going to be a nice little God Squad versus God Squad action here. All right, boys. We got empty action in the game. Hopefully, we could actually play good on offense or on defense to get the ball on offense. And, oh, he's running some crazy motion stuff already. Dude, look how fast his running back to shot out of a cannon. What play is that? Dude, every play this guy has has been, like, over into empty. He likes to move around a lot in this playbook, which is, you know, different. And who is – is that Kareem Hunt? Number 29, I think that is Kareem Hunt. Good play from the opponent right there, man. We got to settle him down a little bit here. I think these guys are, like, the most fun to play because you never play against stuff like this. This is my first time ever playing, like, this much of different different schemes. Like, he's running a lot of motion stuff, a lot of audibling around. We'll see what he has. Oh, I just almost PI'd him. A big sack again. Come on, man. And we need the pass rush to come in, and we are looking good. Fourth and 21. Please, no miracles happen here. And he's throwing it right at us. Let's go, baby. What a defense by our guy, Brian Branch. And Russ only got 20 yards for a touchdown. I said, I don't think I've used this release. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think any quarterback in the game gets it. The scary part is, is we got to see his audibles. And right now, it's looking like it takes a little bit on the first one. But other than that, he feels perfectly fine. We had a touchdown. But our guy, Brian Thomas, wide open as well. The running back, I saw that. I know a lot of people see it. Brian Thomas Jr. as well. Arguably the best wide receiver in the game. Come on, man. Hey, we won the God Squad matchup. Let's get into game two. Russ does have, like, a walk-up thing. I don't know if that's going to affect his audibles because I know that's a big deal in this, Madden. But we're trying a read option. 85 speed is not crazy, but I don't know who Joseph is. We'll take it, man. Russ with a 13-yard rush. Come on, man. I have to switch it up a little bit. Yeah, he does that walk-up every single time. I want to see his first, like, how long it takes to do the next audible. It's no, okay, it's not the fastest in the world, but it's not as bad as, like, Lamar or Mahomes. So you're fine when it comes to that. I know a lot of people worry about it. The deep release did look pretty quick right there. And Jamar Chase, worst catching animation, but he absolutely burned him. We're not playing the best team in the world compared to last game, so this is a game we could see a lot more in. Maybe I lied. Maybe maybe the audible is a little bit slow. The first one is not the fastest in the world. Let's see if we can move and make a little bit of a play right here. We got two guys breaking in, and I think that's going to be a crazy laser. Brian Thomas from our guy uh, Russ right now. The two the new, the two new team of team guy, or team of the week guys are just dominating. Honestly, I love Russ cards. I love him every time he comes out in Madden, but he is ridiculously expensive right now. He's even more expensive than the two arguably best cards that came out today and our guy Fred Warner and also Kamara. I don't know, man. I don't know. Two mil for him is a little steep. If you're a, if you're a Seahawks theme teamer, they are getting Cam Chancellor and Woolen coming out soon, so you could rock him in there. But Steelers theme team, I know people die by these cards, but, dude, he is completely waxed out right now all right boys i'm not gonna lie i wanted to keep him i saw his team and i'm like okay okay we want to see russ mainly so i did let him score i tackled him at the five which probably isn't the smartest play in the world but you know i just want the ball back that's really it is i'm here for russ is running that gun raven heavy which i think is one of the more annoying formations to play against 
And I mean, this dude, Tim Tebow, despite being one of the lowest cards in the game overall wise quarterback, and he is just, I mean, what am I watching here? I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not too mad if he scores here. Next drive, we're locking in on defense, but right now he is pounding us with Tim Tebow. We got five down linemen, boys. Surely we can get a stop right here, right? Bunch of drags across the... Okay, I actually tried on that play. I'm not going to lie. I did try on that play, and wow. All right, now we're back to locked in. We have Identifier, which like I told you guys, I think is... Okay, his audible is a little bit long. Okay, the more and more I'm playing with it, you definitely notice it compared to like guys like Luck. But I, I, I think Identifier is a little mid in my personal opinion. I'm looking for our guy, the Kalen right here. Come on, baby. A big lace from our guy. I want to get a throw on the run and see what that looks like with this release. All right, boys, here we go. Maybe we can get outside the pocket. I'm not sure. We have a lot of routes. Okay, there's just no way against this guy. There's no way. Yeah, we were stuck. And also, I think on that motion play, it put me in my setback. I couldn't roll out if I wanted. This guy is sending that DB on the end. I don't know. We're going to double team this guy and then hopefully get to the outside and be able to throw like a DK corner or something here. Let's see, man. Oh, we got the, we got the outside, man. Let's see, DK. Oh, I threw it. Okay, his throw on the run release, I try to keep on running. It is insanely fast. The throw on the run release is crazy. All right, if you like to scramble and roll out a lot, I think this might be a play. I only like to bring that up because there's a small amount of people I know that run rollout schemes. And if you do, this might be the guy. That is a crazy, crazy fast animation. Sidearm, too, by the way. Let's see if we can get a DK Metcalf eyeball over here. Oh, everything seems caged, man. We might need Russ to make a play on the run. Oh, this is like where he's perfect at, man. Okay, maybe we're trolling a little bit. Thank God we didn't fumble. Let's get it, man. We got Kyle Pitts on a fake motion in the flat coming back in. Oh, he was locked on it, man. I think a highball in the back. Is that a laser? Oh, yeah. Come on, Russ. Russ has honestly been crazy accurate, and the release feels good so far. I'm telling you, this card, he might be quarterback two right now. I think Andrew Luck is definitely locked right now because how good his release is. He's faster, better statistically, right? But if you like to switch it up, your Seattle team team or Broncos, I forgot about them too, or Steelers, Russ is looking really, really good. All right, I told you guys, we're locking in second drive. He got his little Mickey touchdown. We let him score. We're locked in here. Cody Barry, let's make a play. Oh, man, everything is just... Well, I thought everything was open there. He just didn't throw anything. Got a Cody Barr and pick so bad. We got Lurk Artist on him as well for 1 AP, which is sick to see. And ooh, we're bagging. Come on, man. I don't know if I like the defense. Oh, he's running the ball here. There's just no way that's even a positive game. Come on, team. Fourth and five, Tim Tebow. I almost feel bad in this certain situation, but I think we got the bag out here. Just kidding, man. My user messed up. We didn't knock it. Okay, we're frauds. I keep refreshing Russ's price, and he keeps going up. I don't understand. Maybe the offer was just so bad, and everyone's just pulling, like, Kamar and Fred. But, like, dude, he is insanely expensive for no reason. Like I, like I said, I think he's a top three quarterback in the game. But when Andrew Luck is out, why is he going for two mil double the price of Andrew Luck? And, boys, just like that, we get a rage quit. Three touchdowns on the day. I'm not mad at it, man. But after getting to play, obviously, we played a Gato. I only had one good game or one play against him right there. I think he is good. He has a really, really fast release. There's one negative, though. His first audible is a little bit slow. It's not as bad as Mahomes or as bad as Lamar's is going to be once you guys see that card. But he's good. Russell Wilson's amazing. Is he worth $2 million? No. Unless you're a locked-in theme team and you only buy Steelers cards, you only buy Broncos or Seahawks cards, then, yeah, go get, go ahead and get him. He's going to play amazing for you. But I don't know, boys. I don't know. I had two million, double the price of the best quarterback in the game. A little bit, a little bit out of reach for me, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We got most feared part two tomorrow. I'll see you guys there. Peace out, boys.